Hi, my name is Stephanie Aguilar, and today we'll be talking about spinning band distillation. This is the theory and how it works. Spinning band distillation is a technique that uses rotating helical bands to create a high number of theoretical plates. The spinning bands can be made of Teflon or metal. Teflon spinning bands are used for distillations below 225 Celsius. Metal bands are used for higher temperature distillations where Teflon would become soft. Application and where it's used. High efficiency BR spinning band distillations apparatus have up to 200 theoretical plates at as atmospheric pressure. Spinning band distillation columns can be sta stacked for even higher efficiencies. They are well suited for producing high purity materials and making difficult separations. Low column holdup. Because of their design, spinning band distillation columns have very little liquid behind in them after the distillation. The helical Teflon spinning band has a steep pitch, so liquids can easily drain into the boiling flask once the distillation is finished. Low holdup ensures that valuable sample is not lost in distillation column. It also makes cleaning the equipment between distillations easy. Low pressure drop. Spinning band distillation has very high free space. As a result, there is a very low pressure drop between the boiling flask and the top of the spinning band distillation column. Low pressure drops minimizes boiling, temperatures, and flood points. The most widely used industrial applications of continuous steady state Fractional distillations are in petroleum refineries, petrochemical and chemical plants, and natural gas processing plants. The low hold up of material left behind in the distillation column after the distillation feature of the spinning band distillation column makes it popular choice for distillation high value. Materials such as essential oils, flavors, and fragrances. The minimum amount of the high value material is left behind in the distillation column after the distillation is complete. For example, in this picture, all distillations attempt to separate at a lower boiling material. A, forming a higher boiling material. Spinning band distillation creates close contact between the vapors and condensate in dynamic process. It uses a helix spinning at high speeds inside the distillation column. The spinning band forces vapors into close contact with the condensate on the wall of the distillation column. This contact takes place in very thin layer that is refreshed thousands of times per minute. As a result, spinning band distillation gives a very efficient separation in a short distillation column. <coughs> Strengths and limitation. When is it a good use? When is it bad? A rotate a rotating helical band is used in spinning band distillation method to produce a large number of theoretical plates. Teflon of metal can be used to create rotating bands. Strengths. It is the best option for distillation requiring very good component separation due to the huge number of theoretical plates. This distillation is frequently used to get the high purity fractions needed for applications such as distillation of essential oils, crude oils, and solvent recycling. The finished distillation leaves a 
low amount of high volume material which makes it significance. It is used for distillating high value materials like essential oils and scents because of its low holdup contribute. The distillation column's large area allows distillations to be carried out at lower temperatures. Limitations. It is temperature-based working process. For working temperature low than 225 Celsius, it uses Teflon as a rotating band. For working temperature greater than 225 Celsius, it uses metal as a rotating band. Repeated working both condensation and vaporization of the high value material requires a lot of input energy, high energy uses. usage. The strengths and limitations show when it's good to use and when it's not good to use. These are my sources and what I've used to get my information. Thank you.